things to look forward to in heaven. I believe that we as Christians don't think enough about heaven. We don't talk much about heaven. We don't, and that's the truth. A lot of us don't have the correct view of heaven. We view heaven as that place we will go after we have had all the fun here on earth. And this view of heaven is incorrect. My friend, your best days on earth are not even a glimpse of what you will experience in heaven. Philippians 3.20-21 through 21, But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who, by the power that enables Him to bring everything under His control, will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like His glorious body. Heaven is a beautiful place. The description that has been given of that wonderful place called heaven reveals to us that heaven is more beautiful than we can ever imagine. Heaven is a place for those who love God. So I ask you today, do you love God? Do you obey God because if you love Him, you will obey Him? Do you go where He wants you to go? Or do you just decide to go your way? You need to examine your life and ask yourself whether or not you truly love God. Only you can answer this question. John 14, 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. The things that God has kept in heaven is for those who love him. We must not be deceiving ourselves. Those who will make it to heaven are those who love God. It is never too late to start showing your love for God. It is not too late to come back to your first love. It is not too late to retrace your steps back to God and love Him with all your heart. Because there is no time and the end is near. There are wonderful things kept for you in heaven that you will enjoy. There are blessings in heaven that you should be looking forward to. You should always look forward to making heaven. You should always look forward to getting to that glorious place. That is heaven. Do you know why? Because there is no death. There is no death in heaven. It is not allowed in heaven. How does that make you feel? No more goodbyes. No more tears. No more sorrows. No more caskets. No more funerals. No more graveyards. Imagine never ever again you will see a graveyard again. Why? Because death is not allowed through those pearly gates. Heaven is the land of the living. Jesus said, He that liveth and believeth in me shall never die. He will never see death. He will never taste death. He will never fear death. And death will never be able to touch him. Revelation 1.18 I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Heaven is your home. The Bible says there is no need for the sun. There is no need for the moon. Why? Because the glory of God did lighten it. Heaven is the land of the living. It is a land of glory and righteousness, holiness and peace. The glory of God. In heaven you will finally see God, the King of all kings, the one in whom all things consist of, the one who sits upon high and looks low, the one in whom, who made everything that was made, you will finally see him, God Almighty, the keeper of creation, God Almighty, the one who has everything under his control, God Almighty, the Ancient of Days, God Almighty, the Architect of the Universe, God Almighty, the one from everlasting to everlasting, God Almighty, the one who always was, the one who always is, and the one who will always be, God Almighty. The one Isaiah saw sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. In the land of the living, you will finally see God Almighty. The one who has always been there for you. You will finally get to see God. 
the God who you felt his presence whilst you were on earth. The God who protected you. I honestly believe when we are in heaven and we look back over our lives, everything will be revealed. We will be able to see the times God saved us from the bad situations. And we will be able to see all the times God blocked us from making bad decisions. We will be able to see the great gifts God gave us during this life that we currently take credit for. And we will turn and look into the face of God and realize truly it was Him. It was Him who was there all the time. It was Him who picked you up when you had no more strength. It was Him who gave you the ability to work, to provide for your loved ones. It was Him who gave you every good gift you have in your life. In heaven, we will all seek God. We will see His light shining on us, and there will be no darkness. In heaven, God will be our God, which means there will be no other God. He will be so close to us than ever. We all want to see God. We all want to praise God at His throne. We will get to do that in heaven. Do you want God to be your God? Do you want to be in the presence of God day and night, praising Him with joy in the new heaven and new earth? Do you want the joy of the Lord to be yours forever? Then getting to heaven should be your priority in this life. Revelation 21, 1-3 And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. There will be no sin there, no unclean thing in heaven. Sin cannot enter in. How wonderful it will be to be permanently separated from sin. Won't you be glad? Not to feel a sense of shame or guilt, never having to feel dirty again. Are you not tired of all the atrocities of men? Are you not tired of all the evil news that has been flying around? Sickness is an unclean thing. Murder is an unclean thing. Every form of wickedness is unclean. None of these should be in heaven. 